Hey guys, welcome to the third part of the Cut Kick Solutions episode. Today we're going to go over a concept called canceling the cut kick. I'm sure you hear this everywhere. So canceling the cut kick essentially means that you're neutralizing the cut kick with your own cut kick. Break! Okay, so let's discuss some advantages that neutralizing the cut kick with your feet has over neutralizing the cut kick with your hands. So as we discussed in episode one, when we neutralize with our hands, you're in P1 or P2. And this is pretty risky because you're in full reach of your opponent and he can pretty much fire at will and you're gonna have to block with your hands like that, right? But if you use your feet to cancel, neutralize the cut, you can be in P3, pretty safe, right? Because he doesn't have direct access to the target. Secondly, after you cancel, your foot is pretty much already at the target. So after you cancel, you can follow pretty easily because half the work is already done for you. Thirdly, it's a pretty safe defensive maneuver because as he cancels, it gets rid of pretty much this target for the opponent because his foot is blocking in addition to the covers. So this is pretty safe already, right? I'm not gonna get through. <laughs> but he lifts his foot up, he can pretty much get, block any attack coming in, cancel it out. So in summary, you're in P3 instead of P1 or P2, so it's a lot safer for you. Secondly, it covers up your target from your opponent while you're cut kicking. And thirdly, it is a really good follow-up move uh, to set up your follow-ups because half your work is already done for you. So here are some basic guidelines to follow to prevent getting kyongos from the referee while you're canceling. So he's gonna be our referee, okay? And I'm gonna be the one canceling Rich's cut kick. So when he's cut kicking, you always wanna aim above the waist when you're canceling because if you keep aiming low like this, if you keep kicking low, Kyongo. I'm gonna get a kyongo, right? So when you're, when you're canceling the cut, you always wanna aim above his cut kick. Aim above his waist, like that. This is the target right here, not any of this. <laughs> Number two, you do not want to hit the cutting leg. A lot of people that are new to the canceling game are going to want to hit the cutting leg like, ah, ah, Kyongo. ah. And you're gonna end up with the kyongo because you're pretty much kicking low. And referees won't really say anything if you're not really hitting the leg, but you're making contact and then you're putting it down like that. So instead of, go ahead and put your hand instead of hitting the leg like this, <laughs> instead of hitting the leg like that, make sure you're kind of pushing it like that with your leg, not your hands. So the cut leg is up, make contact, and then push. Or if you're able to cut the waist, you can do that too. Number three, do not fall. I mean, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> that's a kyongo. So and when you're canceling, you can't. <laughs> kyongo.
Hey guys, thank you for watching The Yoon Show. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click right over there. And if you want to go to the next episode, click right over there. And if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more like bloopers and some stupid skits that we did, then you can click on this link. That's called patreon.com where you support these uh, video creators like myself. And if you want one of these awesome Yoon shirts, you can click right on over there. It's really soft and it's really nice. We have uh, kid sizes all the way up to XL. So thank you for watching The Yoon Show.